Welcome back. So like always, I like to have some kind of reference. I like to have a place where you guys can find documentation if I forget to explain stuff. And again, tutorials teach us have a great guide about MVC. So I encourage you to jump in there. Uh, we're going to uh, create our first MVC application this time and they have an, a guide for that. It's actually uh, for the Visual Studio 2013, but still it's valid. Um, so I'm going to do it in here just to show you how simple it actually is to build your own web application inside uh, the MVC framework. And then we'll dig into what it actually is. So this first lesson will just be to build one. If you haven't installed Visual Studio, go back to my basics videos. There's a link in the description. Let's uh, start out by making a new project. We need to make a new project and it's going to be a website this time. And um, in history, you had a lot of choices here. That's not there anymore. So you only have one choice. So that's rather simple. I select Visual C Sharp and I select Web. If this is, this is not available, you have to go and update your Visual Studio. So go into Program Files and select, I want to update Visual Studio, and then you can select web. It might not have been installed as default if you have a community license or something like that. So now you have the web and you select this guy. Now we need to give it a name, of course. It should be called um, person web. So this is going to be like our person application we did in the crash course, just in a more web-based uh, way. I'm going to put mine under the C drive. It's up to you where you put it. And the folder for the solution should be Let's call this the web app and then this will be the person application like this. So this will be the folder name and also the solution name, meaning that's up here. And this will be the name for the first project in the solution. We'll have multiple projects. Again, go back to the basic if you don't remember all of that. Uh, let's create this. So I'll say OK and it'll pop up in a second. It'll pop up here with another dialog saying, what do you want to build? And these are all the types of applications you can actually build when we talk about the web. Now it can be a web, uh, an empty application. We don't want to go there. It can also be the old web forms, just like we had Win forms and VPF to pick from. Here we have web forms or MVC. Web forms is, in my mind, outdated. It's still used, and a lot of people like it. But I think the MVC application is the way to go now. Uh, web forms was very limited. Uh, you had to define a page per route and stuff like that. Now MVC is a lot more dynamic using controllers. So I think we should go there. We're also going to use Web API later and maybe even single page applications if I get the time for it, because I think that's rather exciting where MVC kind of uh, as default reloads the entire page. Single page application starts only pulling out the data we need to change. Oh, that was a sidetrack. Sorry about that. We want to build an MVC application. We want to change authentication in the first version here. We don't want to have a login system up and running right away. Well, you know what, let me just, let me, I just rethought that. Let's do it. Let's just keep user, th user authentication right away. It doesn't matter. We're just not going to use it. As a default, you have a host in the cloud set here. Uh, disable that for now. We don't want to bring this to Azure just yet. Azure is Microsoft's uh, live platform, so you can actually present your data live. But there are a few eh, about it because we can use an MSSQL server up there. As default, you have to pay for that. So we, we won't put it in the cloud as default. So just uncheck this if it's checked. Good. We have selected MVC right here because we've selected there. No unit tests in our solution. Everything is up and running. I'll say OK and it'll take a bit of a while. See you when this is done. Welcome. Now the application is up and running and and, and a really cool thing here is, and I want to talk about that while it loads it, you're using the NuGet panic package management system. That's just default and, and we've I've not talked about it in the crash course, so I want to talk a bit about it now. The crash course is actually uh, sorry, the, the NuGet management package system is actually something in the cloud that Microsoft built where we can download other people's DLL file, other people's class projects, right? So they've made, somebody has made like in here, they've made a web project. We can download that to our project so we won't have to write the code again. We can just use the other people's projects. Now, you just have to set up a very simple file. I'll look into that in the next video. That's called the project file. And, and when you set that up, it'll just automatically download those files for you, right? So you don't have to do anything. It's downloading a lot of helper packages here for me so that we can run the application in a very simple way. Let me just show you that file. It's called a package config file here. And in there, there's just a list of all the dependencies I have. Like I need Bootstrap, I need jQuery, I need, so there's a lot of frameworks here. I need WebGrease to run my application. Now I don't have to write this myself because other people did that for me. Yee! Ha, I'll just steal it from them. No, I'll actually, it's open source, so I'll just borrow it in my application as well. Now, 
it's done loading it took a bit of time but you can now press any you can choose your browser if you want to use edge or internet explorer or whatever else you have installed in your machine you can select that i've installed chrome and now i'll press this guy the debugger will start and you'll notice that now the iis will pop up here to launch my application just give it a second again it's it's rather slow the first time you have to start it because there's a lot of things that need to be compiled um, but hopefully you'll see an iis popping up down here in a second and then you'll actually be up and running with your machine as a local there you see there iis pops up right there so now your machine is actually a local web server and here i can actually see now it got a new port 3026 that's my new port so in a second it'll pop up chrome it already did and then it'll actually launch the application on localhost 3026 makes sense right so now the browser like i showed in the last video now they'll start communicating the web server and the browser will start asking for information and it'll load the initial page that i showed you before but now you have some login you have some registration in here as well because we actually added default security to our application that's kind of cool i'll show you more about that later but now you have your first running mvc application see you in the next lesson where we'll start understanding what it actually is